Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today I'm here with my friend Dave and a car that we've been looking forward to shooting for a while. This is his 66 GT350. Yeah. That uh, is definitely far from stock from all the videos that I've seen of you ripping around in it. Yeah, it's not stock. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing matching on this yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it started with, um, I went up north and there was a guy that I was doing some work for me on a car and this was sitting in a trailer. He opened it up, took a look at it, and it was, he fired the motor and I was, I was dead set. Now that's not the motor that's in this one now. This car was tracked. So when I got the car, it still had all the race stickers on it. So I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do with the car because it was, it was you know, really track worthy. I just took the stickers off of it and then I just kind of drove it a little bit and I just fell in love with it. Yeah. And I decided that all the dings, scratches and all that stuff were gonna stay and it's kind of like become uh, an interest point. People like the lack of, you know, perfection, and Absolutely, they like how dude. aggressively I drive it. So yep. I'm one two, of those guys. I'm yeah. one of those guys that loves yeah. the the lack of perfection. That it's yeah. a, like you look at this car right away. You go, this is a driver car. This yeah. is a go drive the hell out of it and don't worry about it. And that's the way I like it. Yeah. It's well, let's I, let's go up here and pop the hood and sure. see. Uh, you know, I'm curious to see what you got going. Right on, just pure old school. It's a Stroker 302. It has 363 cubic inch. I rev it to 7,000 RPM all day, nice. and it wants more. But nice. I, I'm trying to. I'm gonna keep it around for a little yeah, while. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dynoed it and uh, got it really dialed in, and and it uh, it, it does really well. It makes uh, at the tire it made like 400 foot pounds and made uh, 400 horsepower. So, which is awesome. Yeah, it's just great. It's yeah. it's great for this car. It's a lightweight car. Yeah. And uh, the torque in it really makes it move. You know, sure. uh, thus sure. you see the burnouts. They, oh. the, the, it spins the tires very nicely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people go, ah, that's not much. It's but not. what does your car weigh? 27, 26, 20? 27, somewhere yeah. in there. Right. It's been, you know, the car's gutted, you know, it doesn't have yeah. the heater core in it, it doesn't have windshield wipers, it's got, you know, rear seat, it's, yeah. you know, there's a lot of aluminum everywhere, so, yeah. you know, so it's a pretty lightweight. That 400 of the tire in a lightweight car is, yeah, you'll see. It, it makes it power to weight drivable, you know, it's, it's yeah. not, mm -hmm. it's not like what you're doing over here. We'll oh, hold why? off on that one, you guys, <laughs> but he's doing something insane over here. <laughs> I well, mean, we'll talk about that in a minute. What have you done? What's what's going on suspension? Like it's still stock frame, I would suppose. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's stock frame. The front of it is a basically a stock suspension. Uh, they just changed the where the co control arms are. It's got a bigger sway bar in it, but it, there's not there's nothing really major done to it other than those those minor changes. Because yeah. this was a this was a, a race car that had certain rules it had to comply sure. with. Sure, it had to be in compliance with the B production, and that's yeah. what the car is. It's it's got all the compliances with that. And then what's for rear suspension? Is it still, is it Leafs? Yeah, it's Leafs. What about brakes? It, now, so you're manual brakes, aren't you? Well, yes, they are yeah. manual brakes, yes. The front brakes come off a of Lincoln. So a lot of what you've done then, it sounds like, is you've kept the car as it was when you got it, other than the motor, the transmission. Yeah, pretty much kept it much like I got it, yeah. because I fell in love with it. So I, I just made a, just some very minor changes to it. So the wheel choice, was that on there? The, the wheels are, are on there, came with the car just like this. The one thing about that you should know is that the rears are the original magnesium wheels. Really? Yeah. So the original magnesium wheels are um, kind of dangerous because if they catch fire, they, you can't put them out. So, yeah. um, but back in the day when the, that was a stock piece. So I have two of them. I put the bigger bolts on there, you know, um, they had covers on the in the centers. I pulled those off. I like the this kind of tough looking, super raw looking. Yeah, I'd... and you'll notice I don't even fix like little paint stuff. That's no, that's... <laughs> no, I noticed. No, no, no. I, 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 dude, I love, I love that it's a driver car. You know, I, I yeah, yeah you like see we were just scratches. saying. I have all the appreciation in the world, it, it, and really, a lot of my friends build these, you know, half million, million dollar cars that mm -hmm. are just truly stunning. Mm -hmm. And, and I've driven I'm them, you know, and them. you're a little nervous to drive them. Whereas yeah. this, you, you, we can get after it. You can get after it and yeah. oh, big deal, a rock ping, who yeah. cares, you know? Yeah. Now what, what have you done? What, what is the exhaust on here? Cause this, this car has a tone to it. Yeah. Um, that's another question I get a lot of. And um, so it starts with um, the Thorley Triwise or the headers. And then what I, what I did was I put a cross pipe in there. 
Mm -hmm. And then the cross pipe goes into a muffler and the muffler is a, it's about a 12, 16 inch with a auger going through the middle of it. And that's where you get, you get some of the, the sound. But yeah. I think, I think what really creates uh, a lot of the sound, uh, I think it really, it's that X pipe. The X yeah. pipe seems to really, it gives you kind of like this F1 uh, high, high pitch that, yeah. that you've all, you've all heard. I'm oh sure, yeah. Or at least yeah. some of it. This car screams. Yeah. Door still opens nice. Doesn't it, it does. And again, super minimal in here. Yeah. As you can see, very race. You know, the pedals are all um, just the way it came. And it's yeah. just a harness bar going across here. It's not a yeah. fully caged. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah, that's yeah. that's compliance with the Trans Am. This would have been the Trans Am class, you know, okay. B production. Yeah. So, you know, all the Camaros and Mustangs. Sure. And they were sure. all in that class. And that's sure. what this one was. So. No AC. No AC. No heater. No None windshield of wipers. It. None it, of it. Yeah. It's well, that's total that's just extra weight. <laughs> <laughs> that's total driver yeah. car. Yeah. It's rough. It's, got, it's raw. So yeah. Just as raw as I can get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it allows you like we've said, man, you go on I mean, you drive yeah. the hell out of this car and, and you're not gonna be scared to get another little nick on it. Who who, who gives cares? a shit at that point? Yeah. Nah, it's it's super fun. You Speaking of fun. which, I think that's I think that's kinda like yeah, it's kind of what we need to do. We need to go for a drive and, you know, let everyone hear the sound of it. Let Sean great. feel what it's like to be in the passenger seat ripping. I'd love to share it. Let's do it. All right. Awesome. Cool. cool. All right, you guys, before we go for a drive, we've got merch. ATLAmerch.com. We've got really cool shirts, hats, stickers and I absolutely love our keychains. Now, let's go for a drive. God, what a great sound, man. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll dig into it when the camera gets around you us. Better not be a pussy. <laughs> Oh my 
such a visceral experience. It truly, it really is. I don't know, it's almost like you can feel the energy from the engine, and you're feeling like the mechanics of the car much more. You're like, you're more engaged with the road. It's just got a really nice, uh, totally agree. nice feel to it. You know, this is another one that proves it to me that you can be in that 400-ish at the wheel horsepower range, and it is more than enough to like, to really rip. All right, you guys, well, that is it for our shoot of Dave's extraordinarily badass 66 GT350. And I gotta tell you, no bullshit. This is, I think this is the best sounding Mustang I have ever heard in my life. There's something about the tone that this car produces. I absolutely love that Dave beats the piss out of his car. He drives it, he hits rocks, he doesn't even care. This is a total, total driver car. And the deeper I go into this world, the more and more I actually really love these raw driver cars, not the fluffy designer car that you're deathly afraid to drive. I'm in total love with this car. I'm a little embarrassed right now because I'm kind of coveting his car, aren't I? I'm coveting his car right now. Anyways, that's it for our shoot, you guys. As always, thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. And by the way, there's a sneak peek of what we're going to be shooting soon with Dave. Watch out. All right, you guys. Later.